Hello, welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I'm going to do part two of two of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I just want to show the model that I had shown you last week. I know that the, that the way I have them standing, I did it purposely this way so you can see how everything was being built, like with the feet and the legs, the tail and the body. I know that the tail would actually be raised, but there's no armature in here, so that's why I had to do it that way. So I want to show you how to do the next step. This is what we had completed as of last week. We had completed the head. We had completed the arms. You see in front here. We had completed the feet and the legs, and we had completed the body right here. So the next step that I want to do is I want to put in the teeth in the mouth and the tongue. The first thing that we'll do is I want to take these apart and we can put them back together. I'm going to take a ball of clay about this size. You see how big it is like in my hand right now. And we're going to make that into the tongue. And I'll show you how to just take that, work it. See I'm making this, it's almost like a V shape. So you flatten it out, and we just keep working it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to place that in the lower jaw. So this is the shape that you want. That's what it's going to look like from the front, and that's the side. But before we put it in the mouth, I want to take and do the toothpick and kind of run a line right down the center here. See how I'm doing that? So we make that line right down the center. And what we're going to proceed to do is put that in the mouth here. See how, I, see how I'm doing that? And we'll put that in there. And just take and kind of fix that in there. We'll kind of make it go up a little bit and then maybe curl it a little, a little bit here. But the next step in the process, well, now that we've done that, is I want to show you how to put in some teeth. We'll do the lower jaw first. I'm going to take this little ball of clay. You see I have many, many, many balls of clay right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start making these. So I'll show you. What I'm going to do is make these into a point. So I squeeze them. See how I'm making the, the tooth? So it'll look flat from this side, but it will look like a V from this side. See how that tooth looks? And then what we'll do is we'll take and we'll proceed to put that into the dinosaur's mouth like this. See how I put that in? It's kind of like with the, when I did the dinosaur head. That was many, many, many shows ago. But you, you can place the tooth in like that. That's the first tooth. And I'll show you how to do a couple more. You take, you flatten that out. See how I make that nice V shape? And you take, we're going to take this now and we're going to just place that in there. And you can use the toothpick to kind of work it in. Just like that. Okay, finishing up, putting the last tooth in the lower jaw. And this is the way it should look when it's completed. See how we have the tongue in the, in the center and the teeth around the edges. And the, see how nice that looks? So now we're going to proceed to do the upper jaw, and I'll show you how to put the teeth in there. So we're going to take, take the tooth, make the tooth, make that V shape. See how I'm making that nice V? And then what we do is we take, you see the dinosaur's mouth here? We're going to place that in right there. Just kind of push that in like that. You can use your fingers, and then you can use uh, the toothpick if you need to. And it will proceed to make another tooth. And I'll show you. And we're going to do that all around the jaw, just as we did with the lower jaw. See that? I'm going to take that. I made the tooth. Then place that in right there. Just like that. Finally, finishing up the final tooth on the upper jaw. You can see this is the way that it should look. See how that looks, the, how nice the teeth look? So that's what it will look like from the side, front. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place 
both of the jaws together. So what we're going to do is take this and see how I do this? Just like we did in the earlier show with the dinosaur, I just kind of place those two together, just like that. See how nice that looks? And then what we're going to proceed to do is I would like to do some work on the, the eyes. And what we'll do is I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take some small clay here. We're going to take a, make like a little clay ball, probably about this size. Yeah, I'll try to turn on that so you can see it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place that right in the eye, right here, of the T-Rex. See how I just placed that there? I can place that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a, another piece, another small ball about this size, and we're going to take and make the lower eyelid. So what I'm going to do is you can see here, see how I'm making two of the ends kind of pointed. I think, you know what, think of like a little moon. That's what it looks like. And we're going to take that and we're going to place that right here on the T-Rex. Right there. See how we did that? Just place that in. And this is where your toothpick's going to come in handy. Just kind of take and press that into the clay. And that will be one side, and then we're going to proceed to do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to make that eyeball. So take this, and you kind of make it and flatten it out, just like that. So you're flattening it like this, and then it'll kind of be like an oval shape, and then we're going to place that right here. See how I'm putting that right in there? And what we're going to do is we're going to make the lower eyelid. And remember the shape I told you. Think of a moon. And that's what, take that little piece of clay, and you're going to create, it almost looks like a little miniature moon there. So we're going to take that and place that right under the eye, right here. Just kind of work that in. You can take your toothpick. Just kind of work that like that. And then what I want to do for that eye is place a smaller ball on top of that one. We're going to break these. See, these are very tiny. That's really... I don't want to see that size right there. And I'm going to take that, make them round, and then I'm going to put it on top of the T-Rex eye. So we're going to take this, flatten it out, then place it right on top of the eye. Like that. And then we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. You want to flatten that out. And we're going to place that right here right on top like that. See how we did that? And then another thing that I'd like to do is I want to make the nostrils on the T-Rex. So we're going to take this toothpick and just kind of go like this. In the front, see this? On the other side, you're going to do the same thing. Just kind of rotate it a little bit. And it'll look pretty good. And then a couple of other steps that we want to take is I want to put in some, it almost looks like armor on here. I want to put a piece on the right side, a piece on the left side, and a piece in the center. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take some clay. We're going to use the additive technique. And I'll show you. We'll take, I want to take a clay ball about this size. You can see that in my fingers. And we're going to take that and place that on top of the dinosaur head. So what we're going to do is you want to lengthen this out. 
just like this. See how I'm pulling on that? Just like that. And we're going to proceed to place that right on top of the, the middle of the head right here. Just put that like that. And then we're going to proceed to put another one on the right side and another one on the left side. So we're going to take the additive technique. And I'll get a couple of balls of clay here. And I'll use about this size ball of clay here, as you can see in my fingers, and take and roll it like this, kind of pull it out like this, just like that. And what we're going to do is place that in the side of the dinosaur head. So we're going to take this, place it up here, and then it kind of kind of go down a little bit, and then have it come back up. And just kind of press down on it. So it, and then we'll proceed. See how that looks. And we're going to proceed to do the same thing for the other side. So take this, roll it like this in your fingers. Just kind of pull that out a little bit. I want to make sure it's the same size as the other one. Those are approximately the same size. So what I'm going to do is just roll it a little bit more, pinch it a little more, and I'm going to make, place that right here. So you're going to go down a little bit like that. See that? And then you're going to come up a little bit. and just kind of press that into the face. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our sculpting tool right here, which can be bought in the art store. I've shown this in the past. And what I want to do is take this now and just kind of go like this and make imprints. See this? How am I doing this? Just like that. You know, it gives, it gives us a nice effect. And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing with the top. Go one, just kind of make that indentation. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side. Just like that. So when you're completed, see how you get the nice indentations? The side, the top. In this side. So that takes care of that. So the next thing that we want to do is now that we have the T-Rex body, I want to take and attach the T-Rex head to the body. So you're going to take and kind of wiggle that a little bit, put that in, and I'm actually going to get some clay that we can off of here. I'll pull that so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to attach a little more clay to the top here. See that head? Just take that. I want to take and attach that to the head in the neck so we can bind them together. And I want to do the same thing on the bottom. And now I'm going to take some more clay and add it to the side here to, to bind the, the head and the body together. So you can kind of see, you just kind of work it like that. Just like that. And I'll just add a little more up here. That way they don't become separated. Just like that. See, I'm just kind of working that. And we'll try to do that for the other side. Put a little clay up here. Create that nice neck. And then I want to create like a little bump on the top of the head. I'm going to add a little more clay here. See what I'm doing there? Just work that.
So now, this is what your dinosaur will look like up to this point. We've made the teeth, we made the jaw, we made the body. Now we want to make some of the, the textures. So what I'd like to do is show you how to make the, um, the uh, scales and things. So on the feet, I'm going to try to put these down. What we're going to do is take and just use this. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put the feet down here like this. And then what we're going to do is take our sculpting tool and we're just going to make imprints on the top here. See how we're making those nice little imprints? I'll show you, pick it up in a minute, and you can see exactly what I did. You want to do, you know, create a nice texture for the feet. We'll do just like that. And then what you, if you want to do also is you can do it from the side where you had made it. Do that. That way it, and go all the way around the foot. See how I'm doing that? And then when I come back in here, do the same thing here. And you'll basically do that from all sides to create that nice texture. And we'll proceed to probably go up to about here. And that's how you, you would do the feet. And you're going to do the exact same thing to this foot also. So for the scales, what I'd like to do is for the neck, we'll just make little squi we'll make little lines here, kind of like little wrinkles. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? Try to, you can see. You probably can make like, let's see, five or six or seven lines like that. And we'll do the, proceed to do the same on the other side. So we'll do, kind of create that line like that. Let's see. See that how? Huh? We'll do that. Just like that. And now we want to proceed to make. Well, before we do the scales, what I want to do for the belly is I almost want to create a grid. So we're going to do something like this. We're going to draw a line here. And then it's going to almost make it look like a square box. It's going to go down here like that. See, I'm just drawing that like that. And it's kind of going down to that, like where this bone is here. So the next thing that we want to do is make lines coming down like this. Make these lines. Just like that. We'll make those. And then what I'd like to do is take, I have another sculpting tool that's similar to the other one, but it's a little smaller. And we're going to take and make these marks like this across. See how I'm doing that? So it, it creates like little scales. See that, how I'm doing that? We're going to do that all the way down. And what you do is you proceed to make those scales like that all the way down the belly. Just like that. And you'll proceed to do that all the way down to here. I just wanted to show you the process. So now, for the scales, what we can do is we can take the sculpting tool now. See how we make these 
and make the scales like this. Just like that. See how we're doing that? And we're going to make that all over the dinosaur to create that nice effect. Just like that. You're going to do the legs. You're going to do the tail. See that, how we do that? It's a really cool effect that's being created because it does look like scales, reptilian scales. And when you're doing like the tail down here, when you don't want to, there's nothing to support this clay, so support it with your fingers like this. See, I've got my finger behind there, and then you can just do that. Make those little indentations like that. And now on the, for the legs, I do the exact same thing. What I would do is see, put my fingers behind here, behind that leg. I might even put him on the ground or the table and hold it like this and then do the, um, the indentations. So, I'll, but I'll pick them up for purposes of the show. But you probably want to lay it down like I just had it. And then what you can do, make sure you, you kind of keep your a finger behind there, and you can just make those nice little scales like that. And we'll proceed to do that all around the dinosaur. Here. And then when you do these arms, put your fingers right there like, like that and just ever so slightly just touch the arms like that and make the little scales. Just like that. But you have to put your finger behind the arm for support. And then for the face area, we'll do the exact same thing. So what we're going to do, see how we're going to take this tool and you're just going to kind of you can make smaller ones, just like that. Go all the way around the jaw like that, the underside. And you're going to do this, the same thing here. Do nice little scales here under the eyes. You see how I'm doing that? You know, just, you just keep moving along. And then for the, to make the eye look a little more menacing, we're going to take the toothpick and create like little indentations like this. See how I'm doing that? And then we'll do this, you do this exact same thing on the other side. You want to make it look, see I'm just taking the toothpick and just pushing down and creating that nice effect. And then you'll proceed to do the scales on this side. Now the reason tonight that I didn't want to put the armature in here is because I can show you how to make the feet and the legs more easily then I could, the process moves a little quicker if there was nothing, there's no armature involved. So that's why I wanted to do it in that manner. So got to see how I'm doing this with the, the head? Just keep working that like that. Just make the nice little scales go around. And you'll make the scales all over the dinosaur like that. I'll show you what the finished dinosaur should look like. But that's where this dinosaur here, this is pretty much all the steps that you need to make the T-Rex. So I'll show you over here. This is the one that is not painted. See how we made all those nice little scales? Then we had the nice lines for the neck. 
See that the teeth, you can see how we put the nice tongue inside the, the jaw there. You can see how we made those nice little ridges there. And, you know, and see how I made all those little lines for the feet that, for that nice texture. And, and then here we made the grids for the belly and then went across. So that's what it should look like when it's complete. And the fact that I didn't use the armature, that's why I wanted it to stand up. Now, if we had used an armature, which would have taken longer to do, you would have the tail definitely in the air, like you see in Jurassic Park. So now I'm going to proceed to show you how to paint the dinosaur. And I'm going to show you this acrylic paint such as this, which can be bought in any art store. And there's about 18 in the package. And we are going to proceed to use several different colors. We're going to use brown for the claws. We're going to use this, it's almost like a yellowish beige for the, the belly and the feet. We're going to use white for the teeth, yellow for the eyes, then the, the black for the eyes. We're going to use red for the mouth. Let me just make sure I got all the colors here. And then we're going to use this green color for, see this here? <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to paint it this greenish color. I'll show you the size brushes that we want to use. So let's see. For the eye, we'll use this nice fine brush right here. For the feet, we got some smaller brushes here. We can use this brush here. And I'll use a few of these smaller brushes, you know, like for the brown claws. And then this one here, I want to use for the, the main part of the body, the green. And we are going to do, what I'd like to do is, see how we do the body here? Back and forth, back and forth like this. Back and forth, back and forth. And then up here, we just want to be careful because we don't want to get too much in the eye, but we can always touch it up afterward. So what I'm trying to do is get this area in here. And then... You get the body like that, so you get the, paint the, the small arms, then get the underside, and then what we want to do is go to the other side, and don't worry if you get a little paint in your hands, that's, that's normal when you're doing this, and uh, so, so that's how, you want to paint the entire body green like that. Back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, just like this. And then back and forth, back and forth. So the next thing that I want to do is I'll probably do the, the belly. We'll leave him right there. We use this almost like a cream color. So we want to paint this side right here. See this here? Just kind of paint that back and forth, back and forth. You know, I did get a little bit of green on the area where I'm supposed to be putting this color, but you can give it a couple of coats of paint to cover up the green. You know, so see back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And we're going to do that whole area like that, back and forth, back and forth. Just like that. And then I'll show you how we can do the 
the brown for the claws. So we got we got the claws here. See right here. And just kind of paint like that. So we're gonna go around. Just like that, so you just kind of paint them, dab them like that, and then we can get the undersides. <clears throat> then we'll proceed to paint all the claws like that. See how I'm doing that? It has a nice, cool effect once you start putting the paint on it, when everything starts to come together. Then we'll get the other claw. So you paint the claws all the way around. Just like that. And then we also want to do the, the little claws up here on the fingers. See that? Kind of dab them like that. And then you want to get the underside of them right here. See that? Do that. See how I'm painting that? Do it from this side. And then we want to paint the underside. See how nice the claws look now with that nice brown paint? And then I just realized we want to do more of the beige color on the feet too. So I'm just going to use the same brush. So the, the feet here, we can paint this the nice beige color here like that, just like that. Get that like that. You basically want to paint in between the toe, the toe area like that too. So I'm getting that on the side, I'm getting that. I'll show you, we'll do the other foot, just like that. And we got that. And that's how you, you should proceed to paint the feet. It gives it a nice contrast with the claws. And you also want to, there's another area where I should be painting another set of claws and I'll show you where that is. This brown here, see this this back leg here? Right here there's a claw right here. You see that? There's almost, there's another claw back there and we want to paint those brown. They're right, they're kind of right behind, I'll show you with the dinosaur, they're right behind, see this area here? See how they're kind of like in behind here? And that's where you want to paint those. Another thing that I'll show you how to paint is we got to go back to the, the mouth We want to paint the, I want to paint the tongue red. It's a little tricky with the teeth, but you might have to repaint the teeth after. So see this, we're going to go in here and just kind of swish this around here. And then on the upper part, I'll just try to, you know, it's a little tricky doing it now because the, there's not a lot of space to work in, but just kind of swish that back and forth like that. 
when you do that in the upper part. And what we're going to do is I want to do the white teeth. So I'll proceed to do those. So now with the teeth, just take your time, see? Just kind of paint them like this. Just like that. You know, try to do like one at a time. Just like that. Just do that. And you're gonna go all the way around, but then you also wanna do the inside too. So very carefully on the inside of the mouth, just kind of dab on the inside of the mouth where those teeth are. Try not to hit with your work where you painted the red. And you're going to do that on the inside. Just take your time. You know, and if you have to repaint the mouth with the red again, you know, just paint it again. So you're going to paint it like that. And the next thing that we want to do is... We'll paint the, the facial area where we made those nice indentations. I'll show you where that is. See this area up here? We can paint that this color. I'll look at it both sides. And then we want to hit this side too. See how that we had made that there? And then on the other side, I'll show you we'll do the same thing. Just paint it like that. And the last thing that we'll be doing is the eyes. Remember we did two balls of clay here, so We'll just paint the edges a little bit, yellow. On the sides. See how I'm doing that on the sides? Then we'll do the black. And then we can paint the eye right here. See that? has a really nice effect. It's a nice contrast with the yellow. Do the same thing here. And I'll show you what the dinosaur should look like completely painted. We'll put our painted dinosaur aside here, right there. See now the we got the like the cream color for the T Rex on the the belly. We did the same thing for the feet. See that? And then we painted the nice brown claws here. Now the bottom. Got the brown claws here on the little arms. And on the other side. And then the whole dinosaur we painted green. But then the back of the claws here, remember I said there was some on the back of the feet? We do see, I can see the brown for the claws on these two, on the back of the feet. And then for the eye, see how we have the nice yellow in the contrast with the black? And then we have the nice white teeth. We have the um, nice ridge, ridged area here where I use that like blue-green color. And you can see the tongue is nice and red in there. And I, the upper jaw, I try to make that red also. So this is what your dinosaur should look like when it's complete. And I do want to thank you for coming to part two of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the show Creations in Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.